sometimes you need to go small to match the minnow. And sometimes you need to go even smaller. The foiled again is a very small minnow pattern tied on an oversized hook. It catches fish that are keyed in on the littlest of bait fish. It was originally tied to catch crappie and American shad feeding on baby mosquito fish. A recipe is in the description, along with a link to our website where you can buy all the materials except for the aluminum foil, which you probably have on hand at home already. Start by cutting a strip of aluminum foil between half and three quarters of an inch wide. Fold the foil lengthwise several times. I like to fold it in thirds first, hiding the outside edges on the inside. Then I'll fold it in half. The foil will be easier to work with if the width is even, but the folds don't have to be particularly neat. Then roll it in on itself to create a rough rope or roll of foil. A flat piece of foil is equally effective at covering the hook shank, but because the resin tends to get stuck underneath wraps and doesn't cure, a rope or roll works much better. Put the hook in your vise. Start the thread near the middle of the hook shank. Wrap back to just in front of the bend, laying down a thread base. Then trim the thread. Wrap over the tag end, then a little way up to give yourself some room to work. Select a grizzly marabou plume that is full and has a rounded shape. Measure it so that the feather extends a hook length past the tie-in point. Tie it in on top of the hook. Trim the butt end to a taper. Bind the butt end down securely and continue winding the thread up towards the eye, creating a thread base that covers the rear two-thirds of the hook shank. This is where the body will go. Tie a whip finish, then cut your thread. Hold one end of the foil securely, then wrap it around the hook shank up towards the eye. When you reach the front of the thread, cut the foil rope. Push the end around the hook to finish the last wrap. You should now have a marabou tail with a layer of foil covering the rear two-thirds of the hook shank. Use your fingers to mold the foil, giving it a general fish shape. Work with the direction of your wraps, continually tightening the foil as you go. Make sure you pinch the front and back down tightly around the hook shank to give the body the right taper. Using your fingernails may help. Leave a little space at the front and back so the resin can bind to the hook shank. Don't worry about the foil body being smooth. Just make sure it's relatively even, has the right overall shape, and doesn't stick out too far from the hook. The body is completed with thin Solares UV resin. If the foil is loose, it's a good idea to use a little resin at the front to lock it to the hook. Use a UV light to cure it. Then add resin right on top of the foil, allowing it to work into the gaps. You can build the body in stages, curing the resin after each layer, or do it all at once. I find it easier to get a smoother, more concentric body shape if I add all the resin at once. A rotary vise really helps here, allowing you to rotate the fly to even out the resin. When you get the shape right, continue turning while you use a UV light to cure the resin. With a strong light, you can actually create a strong enough curing reaction to create smoke. This can be alleviated by pulsing the light, flashing it on and off, and by turning the fly quickly. Once the resin is cured, the fly is done. The foiled again is very easy to cast and surprisingly visible in the water. I usually use it where predators are actively feeding on tiny minnows, but I've also used it effectively as a searching pattern. When fishing still water, I usually use a slow, steady retrieve. When fishing moving water, I'll use that same retrieve fished down and across, and will also sometimes dead drift it like a nymph. Some of the best strikes happen when the fly is sinking below feeding fish or drifting with the current. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe.